That is fairly legendary, though. Yeah. Well guys, today I got something to talk to you about. Uh, I know we've been talking about sending horses to Good Simple Living for a couple months now, and that is still going to happen. But there's been a little bit of a change in plans. Um, the horse, the paint horse that they were going to get, um, the horse came to us very, very spoiled. And a spoiled horse takes a quite a bit longer to train, and sometimes they, uh, have this handicap the rest of their life because a horse how they train horses is pressure and release and when they work then they get the release and get the praise for that when that factor is gone in a horse's life it makes it very difficult for a horse to be uh, anything but just like a companion and sometimes even that's not good because they tend to just try to move into your space and run over you and that's for a horse that's a thousand pound horse, 800,000 pound horse, somewhere in there, that can be very dangerous, it can hurt people. So I was hoping that this uh, paint would be further along than she is. She is moving along and she is improving and she is doing better, but I don't believe this horse is gonna be good for Melissa and her kids up there. So we have opted, you know, her and I have talked and we've, we have found, or she has found a different horse, and it, it is, it's a good thing. It's a big, beautiful paint that is well broke, but it is more in line for what they need. So that is, uh, makes, makes me feel better that they'll have a horse that I'm not going to be second guessing. Yeah, because a spoiled horse is, is hard to be around sometimes, unless you really know what you're doing. And so after talking to Tim Anderson, uh, last week and talking to Sean or uh, Alan Palmer and talking to Melissa talking this all out making sure everything's out in the open and know what they're really getting we opted to go with a different direction and you ought to see the horse they're gonna get so guys don't worry about the the horse here but uh, it's not gonna go anywhere you'll continue to follow her on this channel she'll still be around um, I'm actually taking her today to get preg tested and her and Tinkerbell. So you'll see that. Uh, we were talking about that. We didn't, <laughs> it is a great possibility that she is pregnant. So anyhow, today is going to be that day. Sorry about the news, but you ought to see the horse they're getting. And, uh, it's, it's a good thing. It's also, it's a gilding. So the two gildings will get along much better and they don't have to worry about the heat cycle and stuff with the mare and so anyhow that is going to be a good thing i'm still taking them up there and be driving up there that's going to be a cool thing be able to go up and see melissa and and jeremy and their her kids uh look really forward to that it's uh um, we've only talked over the phone so but that's going to be good but good simple living is going to get a man these flies <laughs> good simple living is going to get uh, two good gildings a real you know coda is a real calm one and this big paint that she's getting is is awesome too so anyhow come along with us well we got them all loaded wasn't too bad uh, we haven't worked a whole lot with uh, Tinkerbell here on loading but uh, she got in pretty good the paint and bluebell got in pretty good too it's kind of new for them but uh, it's gonna be good At least she's short, she can't kick too high. You'd be surprised at how they can kick. Oh, she's a good dandy. Come on. Come on, little lady. Lock that up right there. That is, uh, that is super, super, super. 
Watch out. Andy, this needs to be moved back. Slide that back. If you can. Yeah, it's okay. Just talk to her. What do you guys think? You think she's been running with the stud? I think so. Let's see. She lives on the reservation. I bet it's a hundred percent guarantee she. <laughs> she, she ran with a stud. <laughs> I, I heard you can drive by there and they'll get in full. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a high fertility area. <laughs> Be careful, George. I don't want her side kicking her. Yeah, if she if she is she pretty wild or she broke to ride? We've ridden her, but but she just. Uh, her the one that was with her was a really light colored paint. The the little colt that came off her was very very light, like a, like a palomino paint, but had. Well, you Very pretty. Well, right? oh, that's smart. So you do that so she doesn't cow kick you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, we just we just don't need her kicking up over the top of that. He doesn't want to lose his teeth. Those palmers have pretty smiles. That's right. <laughs> you keep them smiling. Ooh, ooh. Come on now. Come on, girl. Well, it's it's only Five dollars a minute, so she carries on. It's okay. We got, we got all that. <laughs> That's good. All, all the nonsense. It all reflects on the bill. <laughs> That's why they went first. <laughs> she's just she's never had it happen. Huh? Put her head down. Let's make sure she stays. Back this way a bit. Ooh. She's small enough that you can go put her in your goat shoe back there. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should have put her in the goat shoe first. It's okay, dude. Let's talk to her son. She'll find out it's not too bad. All right, girl. I told these boys to practice, but they didn't get that far back. <laughs> feel some hooves back there? That's how I preg test my cow, is if it's far along I can feel a hoof, then I know it's pregnant. <laughs> All I felt was a half a bale of hay in there. <laughs> yeah. So here's her bladder right here. This is her uterus right here. This is her right ovary. This is her right horn. Her uterus is empty. Unless she's been bred in the last 10 days or less. No, she's open then. I can see them on here in 11 days. They're really, really visible in 13, 14 days. But, uh, And this is her this is her left ovary. Very small ovaries on her. But yeah, she is she is empty unless she was covered. She hadn't nine, she hadn't been around nine, stud for days ago. Yeah, she hasn't been around okay. a stud at all. So Okay. Alright. She is empty game. Alright, so this is the paint. We're gonna check her. George, watch out, buddy.
No, I was, I talked to him about Skippy already and. Uh, oh, that's the one going to Holbrook? Yeah. yeah. She's she's kind of right in between. Her, yeah, her, yeah, her deal. Her, she's one that folds you like. I don't, that. I've never seen anybody palp her or anything, so I don't know what she'll do. We'll know here in a minute. Andy, I'll hold her. We she, got ways to deal with them. Yeah. She could be. She was with a. What was she was with? What stud? She was with Legend. Legend. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, she came in with Legend, and then we castrated him. We call him Legend because he bred a mare after he was castrated. But he was a good-looking sorrel stud. You got her pregnant? What? Yeah. We, we don't know if he settled the mare. Oh. But he sure. No, we don't think so because he checked. Oh, that's right. That is fairly legendary, though. Yeah, but I was wrong last time, so I would have just shut up. I don't want to be wrong twice in one day. That would exceed my quota. Okay, she's in full also. Woohoo! Oh man, she's got a big old baby in her. She's she's from back probably the middle of the summer. That would be about right because her baby's probably four or five months old now. Yeah, see this the string yeah. right there? That's okay, so here's here's your baby right here. Oh. All, the, the black is all fluid. Up here is uterus. That white is uterus. Now if I'm just holding still, watch your baby kicking around in there. See a baby? The yeah. baby's awake and it's... See it? See it right there kicking around? And... Yeah. That's pretty cool. Okay, so if you look... It's really active. I was wanting to show you the heartbeat. See it just jumping around like a little frog in there? Yeah. yeah. How big would this baby be? This is uh, about the size of a small cat. Of a small cat? Small kitty cat, yeah. So that puts her probably due okay, early. Okay, see the backbone right there? There's the backbone right yeah. there. Yeah. Puts her due early next year, maybe, or? Uh, I'd say she's probably due in the April area. See, this is all part of her, her sac and her umbilical cord. Yeah, see, the baby's down in here. The ba it's, it's about the size of a small house cat right now. But I was trying to find the... The heartbeat? The heart, yeah, it, it's just a little bit too low. So. Cool. Congratulations. So we just had them both preg tested here. The little pony is not in full. So we'll make a decision whether we get her bred or not. And the mare, the paint mare, she is in full. Probably due around April or something. So we got to decide if we're going to sell her in full or wait for a baby. But anyhow, out here... They are still talking horses and stuff. Sean Palmer is awesome. He did a really good job. And, uh... Thank you for watching. Uh, in Bar Farm, over and out.